Welcome back, friendos and kiddos and peeps and such. Bridgeburn 412 here. We're doing our walkthrough of Dark Souls Remastered. And in our last episode, we absolutely obliterated Taurus Demon. Didn't have a chance, although he did get some hits on us, as you can tell. Um, so might as well chug a chug chug. Uh, and we're going to head this way now. So you've probably noticed, if you've played Dark Souls 3, uh, this game is, uh, the running is quite a bit slower, combat slower, so it relies a little bit heavier on timing. Although it was revolutionary for the time, this door's locked, we're going to be getting a key for that in the future. Come down here and meet the most beloved of all Souls characters, Solaire. Ah, hello. You don't look hollow, far from it. I am Solaire of Astora, an adherent of the Lord of Sunlight. Now that I am undead, I have come to this great land, the birthplace of Lord Gwyn, to seek my very own son. You find that strange? Well, you should. No need to hide your reaction. I get that look all the time. <laughs> okay, keep on talking. Oh, aha. So I didn't scare you. I, I did have not. a proposition, if you have a moment. I do have a moment. The way I see it, our fates appear to be intertwined. In a land brimming with hollows, could that really be mere chance? So what do you say? Why not help one another on this lonely journey? Of course! Who would say no? I just, if you well in person say it. no, don't play this game. We are amidst strange beings in a strange land. The flow of time itself is convoluted, with heroes centuries old phasing in and out. The very fabric wavers, and relations shift and obscure. There's no telling how much longer your world and mine will remain in contact. But use this to summon one another as spirits, cross the gaps between the worlds, and engage in jolly cooperation. Of course, we are not the only ones engaged in this, but I am a warrior of the sun. Spot my summon signature easily by its brilliant aura. If you miss it, you must be blind. <laughs> okay, so basically, you, if you're online, we are not because I hate being invaded. Uh, but if you are playing online, oh, you can hello there. call in other players. The, gaze of the, sun. the sun is a wondrous body, like a magnificent father. If only I could be so grossly incandescent. Okay. So there's Solaire for you. Uh, that's all of his dialogue. Uh, I sh probably should have said before now, um, you want to exhaust all the dialogue of every character as you're going through. Um, because it will move different quests along, different quest chains along, and will make different things in advance in particular ways. Okay, so... Here is tricky. We're going to be making a run. We'll probably get hit with fire, um, but you just want to. We're going to run over there and head to the right. So we got hit with fire, and it wipes everything out on the bridge. There's a dragon that's uh, over there, and then it flies over to there. And this is where we're going to pick up our claymore. Go ahead and kick the ladder down. And this takes us to our bonfire that we had at the beginning of the game. So you can rest here. And it will reset the enemies that are up there, but that's okay. We're going right back up there. So it doesn't really matter. Um, and the dragon will kill them again. Oh, actually, we should probably... Spend some souls here. So, uh, we want to get our, our vitality and endurance up uh, to 20, I think, is going to be our best idea at this point. And before we go further, we're going to go and grab the Drake Sword. Um, 
Drake sword is an awesome sword. Um, and the way you get that is you come out here, and let's go ahead and equip our short bow. Um, take that off. Put the short bow that we bought on. And I can't remember which is which. Those are bolts over there. Okay, so uh, put on your standard arrows. And you two-hand it. And then when you use the left bumper, it puts up the targeted reticule. So what you want to do is you want to come out over here. And uh, I think pretty much this is the spot. And what you want to do is hit the tail with the arrow. Now there's a place you can aim up here where the tail doesn't move quite so much. Like down here, you see how much the tail's moving in and out of the reticle. Um, if you go up here a little bit higher, it's not quite, so it doesn't move quite so much. Oops, and then I moved it the last point. Okay. Over here, right over this gap right here, and if you get a shot in that one, like 20 times or something. There's a, there's a way... I've got it before where you can just move to the side, but I can, I'm apparently having a tough time finding that, that uh, spot. Right there, maybe? But it's gonna get a super awesome sword for us. That's gonna help us very early on in the game. It has a special attack that is incredible. Uh, and we might just need it for like one area. Oh, I could have was gonna hit. Specifically, but figure out what the background is that uh, to put your reticle on and make your hit. initially. No, I can't. Can't hit for beans. Bonus. 
So there we go. We got the Drake Sword. And then he flies away to go sit on the bridge again. Now the Drake Sword is... Uh, is super awesome. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. Put on the Drake Sword. So the Drake Sword hits for 200. So our Long Sword right now is 80. Uh, Drake Sword is 200. So we're going to put that on for sure. Uh, I don't know what that does to our weight. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our weight. So we want to be under 50%. So we have our mid-rolls. So we're at 25.4 out of 53.0. So we're under 50%, so we'll have mid-rolls. So if you go over 50%, you have fat rolls, which are terrible. Under 25%, and that 25.4 is not a percent. Uh, but if you go under 25%, you have fast rolls, which are nice to have, too, if you're a dex character. But you can wear almost no armor, and it is kind of tough. So, the nice thing about this Drake Sword is, and we'll have to, we'll have to repair it, but if you two-hand it and do a right trigger, I'm not going to do it right now because it'll waste an attack that, that we'll want later, um, it shoots out a stream of dark damage that goes for quite a ways straight in front of you so uh, so that's awesome um, there are another couple guys over here and so you can see one shot those guys now um, but there's a bunch of rats over there that do poison damage to you you can go that way um, if you don't want to try to run past the dragon but we're going to want to grab the Claymore up there, too. Even though we'll probably be using the Black Knight Greatsword. We'll have to see. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and head back here. And get back down our shortcut. And actually, we didn't use any. killed the enemies here, and we want to grab those two items, but we need him to jump down, so kind of just bait him a little bit. And the fire comes through the... if you stand next to this pillar, I think the fire does affect him. Eventually he'll jump down, and we're going to try to run past him. So when he comes down, he does a big fire blast. Before he lands, you gotta wait for that to go by before you run out to run past him. Hmm. He will eventually jump down. try to jump out and run, but the fire got me there. Maybe because we got the Drake Sword, he will not jump down onto the bridge. So we might have to try to make a run for it. So we'll try to make a run for it. We'll use our shield. Uh, we might very well die, which is going to totally suck because we've got 6,000 souls. Um, 
So before being stupid, we're just going to run back down these barrels. Rather than just waste them. Wasting souls is never a good thing. formed by Drake's nail tail. Drakes are seen as undeveloped imitators of dragons, but they are like either distant kin, swords imbued with a mystical power to be released. Oh, both hands, I guess. It doesn't tell me anything. So I think we're just going to try to inch our way along there and just use an Estus every time. Every time we get blasted. But I do have to make sure I put my shield up. I've never really understood this, um, this area because you have to go over there to progress along unless you go through the rats. Eventually, you have to go this way to open this gate. So, um, I'll edit all these uh, deaths out if they're becoming if it's too many. Because um, basically, this is the strat, so now you know the strat. So, um, such that it is. to drop down onto the bridge. There you go. 
goes. That's what we wanted. Soul of the Nameless. Run, run, run. Okay, well. So, uh, lesson learned. You can get the sword first. Uh, go ahead and reset him. Now, if you're doing a faith build and you've dumped a bunch of points into faith, which I did on my playthrough that I abandoned, um, and I deleted all of those recordings to avoid the temptation of going back. Um, but basically, this is where you would, if you have 25 faith, you can join the covenant here and you can purchase the lightning spear and that's the that's the boss killer one you get 10 of them which is a ton um, and you basically just stand back and just uh, shoot those at the boss and he dies very quickly so it's pretty dull it was a dull mechanic wasn't really boss fights it was basically work your timing get open so that you can kill Kill him. Okay, we're not going to go this way yet. Because over here, we're going to try to kill. Um, incidentally, this ladder goes down to where the rats are. And if uh, I'm not going to go down there because they poison you, and poison is brutal in this game. Um, there's three rats down there. And even with your shield up, they will surround you and poison you. Um, but if you go down the ladder to the right, it takes you back out onto the bridge where we killed the. Uh, or not killed, but we shot the arrows into the drake's tail. So you can go through there, come this way, and then and then come out here to advance, but that gate stays closed. So, I mean, it's just not, not the way to go. Okay, so up here there's going to be another Black Knight. So we're going to do the same strategy. Although he has a great sword that goes through your shield. So he is quite a bit tougher. But we have no souls, so it's no big deal. But we want to see if we can get that. Uh, we want to see if we can get that great sword. Just pushing our luck in the Black Knight great sword until we get the Black Knight long sword. But. You know, you never know. And it's real easy. You're right here. So, um... That guy will follow you up the stairs. So, that's why we kill him first. We're not going to worry about picking up our souls, because it's just going to get us hit with the sword. And we're basically going to get our dodge on. So you can see... Um, oh. didn't get my dodge on oh, I fell down the hole. Oh. And then I fell down the hole. And then I got hit. And then I got stuck on the step. Alright, so we're going to head back up there. Again, so you can see you just have to dodge around the back. The shield is not working up there, so our Drake sword's doing some pretty good work for us. So will it take maybe a couple backstaffs and, and an attack? Okay, we got a Titanite shard. We're gonna need nine of those to upgrade our claymore or whatever weapon we're gonna use. Gotta think about that before I spend the Titanite. circle around the back.
so you can see the move set of that thing. Good. I don't know if this is not good. Nice. It wasn't letting me roll there. So, also, the hitbox on that sword is insane. There was no way that should have hit me. That was total crap. So, welcome to Dark Souls. But, like I say, again, um, it is worth the investment just to see if you can get it. It's a super great sword. Uh, and if we do get it, we're not going to be able to use it for a long time. But it's still, you know. Shield, Black Knight Shield. Uh, that's even better than the Dragon Crest Shield, I believe. Let's take a look. So, uh, put that on, and then we will compare stats. So this is, yeah. So it's better in every category. Even the weight is lower. Oh no, the weight is higher, so three. Uh, we better check our weight to make sure that we're not fat rolling. Oh, we're fat rolling. So we can't use this for a while. We have to get our endurance up a little bit more. Endurance is the weight, uh, the weight mechanic. So, um, oops. And let's just see what the differences are. Again. So 20, 85, 45. 25, 95, 65. But 62 stability over 55, which is pretty important in this game. Stability is what contributes to your poise. Poise allows you to withstand attacks. So eventually we'll be able to put that on. But not just yet. So we are at 28 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and end this episode up here on a high note of victory. Let's get a nice scenic end scene. Um, and we will see you guys next time as we complete, or continue, sorry, <laughs> continue our walkthrough of Dark Souls Remastered. See you then.